Welcome back to another video from Not Only Trout. If you haven't taken a moment, please go ahead and click subscribe for more fly tying videos. In this video, we're tying the Pee Wee Popper. In the vise, we've got a Daiichi X452 hook in size six, and we're using some Semperfly Classic Wax thread in six aught. You'll see here that there is a pre-manufactured hole in the Pee Wee Popper head. That's for the manufacturing process per Rainey's. So what we're gonna do is take a needle or a sharp bodkin, and you're gonna go ahead and align right below that and go vertically below it and go straight through this foam towards that back end where the other hole is. You're gonna be able to put some pressure on there. Just be careful not to stab your finger. I don't wanna be responsible for any blood loss. Once you have that on there, let it sit for a minute. It'll help expand it out. What we're doing now is we're gonna go ahead and seat this on the hook just to kind of mock up where it should fit. This way we can put a little thread bump right behind that popper head and that allows us to properly build this fly without scrunching up our materials when we put the popper head on. I'm going to build that thread bump up a little bit more make it more pronounced so I know right where it's at. After we do that I'm going to go ahead and back my thread up to the curve of the hook and grab some marabou. We're gonna measure this out so that's one hook length long and go ahead and tie that down. Once you lash it down, preen those fibers out, try and space it out just a little bit. And once it's tied on, go ahead and pull your fibers up, snip off the excess fibers, clean your marabou up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this thread down nice and tight, latch that material in place so it doesn't start spinning on the hook. Don't advance your thread past that bump. Just tie things down nice and tight. Make sure everything looks good to your liking. I'm going to preen these fibers a few times just because it makes me happy. Now we'll go ahead and grab a saddle hackle in chartreuse, keeping with this bright and vibrant theme. Go ahead and tie that in by the tip and go to the bump of the hook and trim off the excess little tip that's right there. I like tying in by the tip so that I can have fibers that are pretty consistent all the way through this feather so that it fills out nice and doesn't go too much beyond that hook gap. I'm going to go ahead right now and add a little bit of super glue to increase the durability of this fly. Don't add a whole ton or you'll become goopy and stuck to your fly. But I have just enough here to have the stem of this feather attached to it and it gives me a little bit of extra durability when this fly inevitably gets smashed by some hungry bass and big bluegill. So we're gonna do some tight touching wraps all the way up to that thread bump and go right up to the end of that thread bump so you know right where to tie off so you can put that popper head on. And once you get up there, preen your fibers back, make sure you're in the right place, Go ahead and get ready and tie that in with a nice locking wrap. So you'll see me pull the stem forward, pinch it off, and then tie it down. And then what I'll do is pull that stem forward after I get it locked in place one more time. Pull that stem forward and snip it out of the way. Go ahead and clean things up just a little bit. I have a few fibers that went skewy went on me. And now I'm going to go ahead and build a little thread body right here. This gives a place for the super glue to help attach to the popper body when we put it on there. I'm going to go ahead and whip the finish, take my thread off so I'm not worried about it anymore. And because of habit, I'm just going to go ahead and do a second one for fun. So I'll go ahead and trim my thread off now. And I'll go ahead and grab the super glue again. And we're going to put that on this thread. You're going to want to put it on closer to the eye of the hook because when you slide the popper body on, it's going to go ahead and push everything towards the back of the fly. So I'm going to start seating that on there now. Spread that glue out a little bit. Put that on there. And slide that all the way back. When it gets back there, for me, I just realized that I didn't line it up properly. So angle it downward a little bit to get your hook to go straight through the stem of the lower piercing that you have so you can get that popper body to lock into place correctly. Once that's done, 
let your super glue dry and you have a completed fly. If you need any of the materials that you saw in this video, please go to notonlytrout.com, tight lines, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.